Hi everyone, compliment of the season. My name is Akuride Adenike. You're welcome back to my channel. I want to say a big thank you to my viewers and my subscribers for all your support always. Thank you. If you are new to my channel, please like, share and subscribe. And don't forget to tap on the notification bell for you to be notified each time I upload new video. In this tutorial today, I would like to teach you how to counter so gather stress. Let's get into it. Now this is the Ankara fabric I'm using for this tutorial today. I have three years of fabric here for my gather stress. So here is the paper that I'm using for the upper part because I'm cutting the upper part first. And this is the front part of it and this is the back part of it. The paper is folded in the two. So here is my zipper allowance, two inches zipper allowance. So I'm going to place the front on the back like this. The reason why I'm using pattern paper for it first is because I'm adding yoke so that for me to manage my clothes. I don't want it to be waste. So from the shoulder here now I'm going to place my chest line and to get my chest line is half of my round arm hole. My round hammer is 18, is 17 inches divided by 2 is 7.5. Is 8.5, sorry, plus half inch seam allowance for joining of the shoulder. That will make it 9 inches. From my shoulder to my bust point is 10.5 plus half inch seam allowance, 11 inches. From my shoulder to my under bust is 13.5 plus half inch seam allowance. That will make it 14 inches. From my shoulder to my waist is 17, but, but I'm going to deduct 2 inches from it for me to hide my tummy a little bit here. So now it's 15 inches from my shoulder plus 1 inch seam allowance, I'll make it 16 inches. So I'll now make all these points now a straight line. This is my chest line. My bust point, my under bust, and my waistline plus one inch seam allowance. Let me confirm it from my shoulder to my okay. So on my shoulder here, I'm going to indicate my shoulder measurement which is my back measurement my back is 15 divided by 2 7.5 plus half inch seam allowance 8 inches on my chest line too i'm going to indicate i'm going to input that 8 inches to create my armhole i'm going to join it like this so on my neck from the center front of my front here i'm going to measure my neck width which is 3.5 here is it my neck depth for the back is 1.5 is it so for the front is six inches is it so i'll use my curve roller to bring out the round neck but if you don't have your curve roller you can make use of your free hand so as for the back too, I'm going to create my neckline for the back, just like this. So to get my shoulder slant from my shoulder here, I'm going to measure half inch downward like this. I'm going to connect it slantly. Remember, I'm cutting the upper part first. So that's just it. Now to create my front ham hole now. I'm going to measure what is here, in between here and this place. What is here now is 8.5. I'll easily fold my tip measure into two like this to get the middle of it. So here is the middle. And on this middle, I'm going to measure 0.5 inwards to create my front armhole like this. So I'm going to connect it slantly like this. And finish it up with armhole curve. If you don't have, you can use your free hand. 
so that's just it for the front and for the back just place it like this no need to come in and connect it like that so i'll now input all my circumference now from the center front here now i'm going to input quarter of my bust on my chest line quarter of my bust is 9.5 Plus half inch seam allowance that will give me I mean ease allowance not not seam that will give me ten inches on my that ten inches will be on my bust point so if you like you can let it show if you like you can ignore it so on my under bust my under bust is thirty two on my under bust line here. I'm going to input quarter of my under bust. My under bust is 32 divided by 4 is 8 inches plus 1 inch for the dart. That will make it 9 inches. So on my waistline, quarter of my waist is 8.5 plus 1 inch for the dart. That will make it 9.5. So I will now add 2 inches same allowance to it because I'm adding lining to it. If you are not adding lining, you can make it can make it one inch then I'll now connect all the points with my free hand like this if you have your curve ruler you can make use of it so that's just it so on my waist here you know our side is curvy our side is curvy like this you know to make it enter the side very well the waist very well I'm coming up by one inch from my waistline. My waistline coming down, I'm coming up by one inch. I'll now connect it like this. I want it to be a little bit off like that. So on my back here, on my waist, from the center back here i'm going to come in by one inch to avoid sip bug i'm going to connect it slightly like this to avoid folding on the back so i'll now cut it out that's all for my upper parts before cutting using it to cut the fabric in the back first make sure you pin down your bottom paper or the fabric if you are a beginner cut the back ham hole first cut in the back ham hole first So, my back neckline first. Shoulder slants. So, this is my front. I'm going to cut the neckline out. the back, the front armhole. And as for my yoke on the front here now, I'm going to measure from my shoulder, I'm going to measure eight inches. If you like, you can make it nine inches. It's your choice. But I'm making eight inches. So let me make a straight line here. If you like, you can just come down here by one or one point five inch to create something like 
sweet at neck if you want it like that but i'm making my own straight so i'm going to from this line now i'm going to measure half inch upward for my same allowance for the down part of it to half inch for same allowance So I'm using this half inch to join it with the yoke because I'm using basket for my yoke. So I'll just cut it off here like this. So now I'm, I'm using this one to cut out, to cut out my yoke. So that's it for the front part of the upper part. As for the back part here, I'm going to cut it out. So now, this is my... Now, to get my down part of my dress, of my gathers dress, I'm going to deduct the 15 inches for the upper part from the full length of my dress. And the full length of my dress is 44 minus 15. That will make it, that will, the remaining one will be 28 inches, I mean 29 inches. I will now add 1.5 inches to it. That will make it 30.5. Because I'm using half to join this place to the upper part and 1 inch for any allowance. So as for the width, I use times 3 of my waist and my waist is 34. So that's just it for the upper I mean down part of my gather stress so I'm going to easily M the bottom with one hinge and gathers this upper part of it to join it before joining it to my upper part of the dress so let me continue with my cutting by using the pattern paper to cut the upper part out now i'm done with the cotton this is the back part of the upper part of my dress here's the lining for it and this is the front part of the upper part here's it this is the lining for it and this is the yoke that i'm adding to the front of the upper part of the dress i added one inch at the bottom of the yoke here i used the bust that I made from my previous video for the yoke so I'm going to put the link in the box below because I now let's move on to the sewing aspect of the gather stress so here's the front part of the upper part now I'm going to open it up to the right side here is the right side take your yoke the right side of your yoke place it on the right side of the fabric like this and place your lining on top it like this just let the yoke is in between the lining and the fabric then stitch with half inch here then at the side here stitch with half inch both side stitch with half inch that is it for that and this is the back part of the upper part of my dress here is the wrong side of the fabric i'm going to open it up like this Take one out of it like this and place my lining on the right side of my fabric. At the neck here, I'm going to stitch with half inch through adding the zipper side here. I'm going to stitch with half inch from the neck down to the zipper side here. Then the side too, I'm going to stitch it with half inch. I'm going to do the same thing on the second part of the back part of my upper part of the dress so when i finish all that i'll come and show i finish attaching the lining to the fabric here's it then i'm going to notch it with quarter of an inch at the neck here don't let the notching touch the sewing then you now turn it to the right side this is one of the back parts of the upper part of my gathers dress i'll just turn it to the right side like this I've already notched the neck of the second one. 
I'm going to turn it to the right side of it. I stitch the side too with half inch, as you can see. Here is the side of it, and here is the right side of it now. I've turned it to the right side. So here's the front part of it. Let me turn it to the right side. As you can see, it's now beautiful. Very nice and beautiful. So I'll now add my dart now. To get your dart easily, just fold into two like this, the front part, then this is the two for the back, the first one and the second one. Place it on each other, let the right side face each other like this. If you are a beginner, you can use paint to hold it down. Just let it lay on each other like this, let it align on each other. You can iron it before laying like this. If you are a beginner, to make your job neat, please. So, then you place your front on it like this to get your dart easily. Just place it like this. Then, you can use pin to hold it now. From the shoulder here, you now measure From the shoulder, measure your breast point, then you now add 2 inches to it. That is where your dart will start. So my knee, my, from my shoulder to my breast point is 10 inches, plus 2 inches, that will give me 12 inches. So this is where my dart will start for the front now. So as for the width. I'm going to use my nipple to nipple measurement. My nipple to nipple measurement is 7 inches divided by 2 is 3.5 plus half inch seam allowance. That's 4 inches. So on the bottom here, I'm going to input that 4 inches too. So let it re reflect at the back like this. Just hold it like this and mark it out. and. As for the second side of the front, hold it like this and mark it out like this. Let it reflect here too. Then I'll now put this one aside and do the same thing. I'm going to hold it and let it reflect on the other side of it. But as for the dark back that, I'm going to measure from my shoulder now. Here is my chest line. Here is my chest line now. So from that chest line, I'm going to measure one inch downward. That is where my dart for the back will start. So I'll just make it a straight line like this. Let me use my ruler. And on the both side here, if you want to sew your dart, you measure half inch on both sides, then connect like this, slantly. You have to connect it slantly like this. So you do the same thing on the other side of it here. So when you want to sew, you just hold it like this, hold like this and sew slantly from, from up here down to this place. This place must be half inch. So I'll do the same thing on the second side of it. Then as for the front, let me make a straight line here now. So on both sides, you do the same thing, half inch on both sides, 
then connect slightly like this connect slightly like this then the second side you have to connect it slightly too so you let it reflect on the second side of it then to sew you just hold like this place it like this you have to fold it like this then sew it slightly from up here down to this place make sure this place reach half in so after did that i'll now use bias tape to finish up the neckline i'll now join the shoulder like this so i'll let it be in between the fabric and the lining like this i'll now stitch it with half inch on the shoulder i'll do the same thing on the second shoulder like this but i will first of all use bias tape to finish up now i finish the front neckline up with the bias tape and i've joined the shoulder with half inch so i'll now go ahead and shape my the upper part of my dress by folding like this i'll let the right side Side face each other like this and I'm going to place all my measurements on the front side of it so from my shoulder to my bust is 10 inches here is it from my shoulder to my under bust is 13.5 here is it and to my waist is 15 inches so this is 15.5 that half i'll use it to join it to the down part of the dress so on my chest line here i'm going to input quarter of my bust i mean half of my bust my bust is 38 half of it is 19.5 then i have that 23.5 here i'm going to deduct that 19.5 from that 23.5 that will give me 4 inches. So I will now divide that 4 inches into 2. So I will place 2 inches here. Then the remaining 2 inches will be here. So on my under bust line, my under bust is 32. Divided by 2 is 16 inches. What I have here now is 20 inches. Divided, I mean, minus that 20 inches, I'm going to minus that 16 inches from it. The remaining one will be 2 inches. So, the remaining one will be 4 inches, sorry. I'm going to divide that 4 inches into 2. Then I'm going to place 2 inches here, then 2 inches on the second side too. So, on my waist here, I'm going to input half of my waist. My waist is 34. Divided by 2 is 17 inches. Then I have 20 inches here. Divided by, um, divided by 2. That will give me that 20 inches. I'm going to minus that 17 inches from it. The remaining one will be 3 inches. So I'm going to divide that 3 inches into 2. 1.5 here and 1.5 here. So I will now connect it like this. I'm going to connect it like this. I want it to be curved very well. So it will curve like this. As you can see, the shape is coming out very well so i'll now go and stitch on this line before joining the down part of my dress so when i finish that I'll... now i've joined both sides and i'm going to move on to the down part of my dress so here's the down part of it here's the down part of it so i'm going to gather it up here till i get the me measurement that is that is here at the down part of my upper part of the dress so and i'm going to hem the bottom with one inch before going to my mansion 
I want to show you how I'm going to gather it. So just get the center of this down part. Notch the center like this. Fold it into two and notch the center. Notch it the center like this. And after that, notch the center of this upper part too to make it easier for you. So notch it at the center here. So you will now place it like this. Then the right side of the down part, find the center that you notched. Here is it. Here is the center. So make sure the right side face each other. Then you will now place it. Let the notch match each other like this. Here is the center of the down part of it. Then place it on the upper part like this. Pin it down and start stitching your down part to your upper part like this. We just be squeezing it like this to form gathers. That's the easiest way of sewing the gathers. So I'm through with the gathers. Here is it. So I'll overlock this place now to make it neat. And here is the right side of it. As you can see, it's very nice and beautiful. Here is it. Here is the right side of it. I hope you can see it very well. So here is the gathers. So I'll now go ahead and fold it like this. I'll fold it like this and here is the zipper side. Here is the zipper side. I'm going to fold it into two like this. I'll let the right side face each other like this. And I'm going to take my zipper. I'm using 18 inches zipper for it. So I'll just place it like this so that for me to know where I'm going to mark. So I'll just place it like this and mark like this. I'll leave about 1.5 inches upward here. This is where I'm going to start my stitch now. I'm going to start my sewing now from here down to the bottom of the dress. So with 1.5. I'm going to leave from this hook now down to this place. I'm going to leave it open for my zipper. So let me go and do that for you to understand what I'm doing very well. So I'm done with it. I've stitched from here now down to the bottom of the dress. I'll now go ahead and fix my sleeve and attach my desire sleeve. Let me turn it to the right side for you to see how beautiful it is. So here is it. As you can see, it's very nice and beautiful. Here's the so here is the right side of it, as you can see. And here is the yoke, the basket yoke. Here's the bottom of it. I'm going to hem it with one inch and fix my zipper at the back here. I'm going to fix my zipper at the back here, then attach my desire slip to it. So guys, this is where I'm stopping for today. If you find my tutorial helpful, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel to support my channel. You can join me on my Facebook group, Details to Sewing, created by Akurede Adenike. I'm on Twitter and Instagram at Akurede Adenike. Till I see you in my next video, stay blessed guys. Bye-bye.